Welcome everyone to day seven of the games. Bringing us back to the stadium, our contestants are revving up their engines in preparation for today's cycling tournament. The event is pretty straightforward. Each competitor will run the final course in Excite Bike. Whoever has the best time at the end of the course takes home the gold. I think we're about to begin, and I do believe that our first rider for today's event is going to be Dustin from Ubechistan. And off we go. Looks like Dustin is catching up for a small amount of lost time at the beginning, but, but slow and steady does win the race. See, the key here in this event is to not overheat your bike and to keep an eye on that temperature gauge, which it looks like Dustin may be uh, taking a ride on the wild side today. Um, we'll see if it costs him his time. So far, he's currently in... Ooh, it, not looking good. Close to last if he keeps wiping out like this. I, I don't know if he's currently being lapped or not, but this is somewhat embarrassing if I do say so myself. Maybe he should check in with his pit crew on the field if he is going to run into somebody. Are we going to check? Are we going to check that? Do we have any medical professionals on the field who's going to look into uh, Mr. Teal Boy? He ran into him again. Uh, this, this is now bordering on unsportsmanlike uh, competition, sir. I don't know if we can give a red card on the field or a demerit. Usually we uh, vet our athletes before we let them on a professional team and run the course. Um, I guess we are beginning to see just what quality of athlete Ubechistan is uh, providing us for the games this year. Oh, wow. He is just not having it with the Teal Rider today whatsoever. Alrighty. Time, 147.15. Let's log that on the board. A few thoughts on that last one while our, our next racers are, are teeing up. I think Dustin did all right. He is, uh, he, he rode the temperature gauge uh, relatively smoothly. Uh, he was able to recover from a few uh, pitfalls here and there. Um, but the fact that he absolutely bodied several of the other contestants while they weren't even on their bikes, just full force, full throttle, into their bodies with his bike. I, I don't know if we should uh, continue his participation in this event. Uh, I, I have to put my professional opinion out there uh, that we should probably get a doctor on the field after this one. And it looks like they finished preparing the field for the next race. Next up, we have Dave from a country that I'm going to butcher the name of. So for prosperity's sake, Dave from Hookland. And we are off to a hot start. Dave is running hot. All right, let's see if this bites him in the ass. And it did, almost immediately. Okay, but he seems to be doing pretty all right with this. Uh, okay, second wipeout, not so good. But he is, I'll be honest, he, he, okay, he's now wiped out as many times as Dustin did, I think. But he is taking over these leaps and bounds with grace, to be honest with you. Did he just lap everybody? Okay. Okay, Dave. Okay. All right, showing the competition what you're made of. I respect that. See, that's what we're trying to see in the games here. And he just hit the teal guy again. This is like the third the third time. Well, not you, but what what is up with you guys and the teal guy? God, this is a uh... This, this, this is a bloodbath of a competition that we are running here. All right, looks like Teal Guy had a bit of a, a bit of a revenge. He's kind of tired of being uh, absolutely destroyed on the field. But Dave's making some good time. Okay, let's see. Dustin finished at 147. We're at 120 now, so Dave still has some time to make it to the end. I'm not exactly sure how long this course is, but okay, 127 puts him puts him currently ahead of Dustin. I think Dave had a good run. I respect that run, but 
What I don't respect is the continued abuse of the Teal Rider. I believe Dave's performance today can be attributed to the gold that he took home from yesterday's martial arts tournament. I think he's riding that energy high right now, and, and that is probably what pushed him to do his best today. Next up, we have the Daisy Baby Bitch Territory Champion, CJ. Off to a bit of a slow start again. CJ is slowly crawling his way back to the front though. Oh, almost making it over the river. He he seems to be watching the temperature of his bike more than he's worried about the speed. Oh, which, which bites him right in the ass as the purple rider takes him from behind. But slowly catching up, making okay time. If he doesn't stop wiping out the teal rider again. Why do you guys keep doing that? That is, the, it's the same guy over again and over again. All right, all right. But you know what? I wouldn't expect any less from the baby bitch territory champion. Uh, if, if there's anybody to, to be known to do that, have this behavior on the field, it would be CJ. So can't really be mad. Though I, I gotta say, not making the best time here. Not if he keeps trying to cheat. Only making it to the first lap at 105. He has a lot of ground to make up if he wants to try to take a silver. Ooh, 115, 116, slowly making it to Dave's time. Seven seconds left. I don't know if he will. 25, 26, okay. All right, we are now past Dave's timestamp. So we're still in silver territory. Could, could, could easily make this in the last 10 seconds, possibly. Though we only have second se seven seconds left to be able to beat, to beat Dustin's. All right, a firm, a firm hold in third place. We, we will have to see how this pans out after our next contestant. So, CJ's obviously the worst one we've seen so far. Um, he just didn't have it in him, I feel, to uh, make the decisions he had to make on, on, on the course. But we still have one more contestant. There is still the opportunity to take home bronze. But that decision will be made by our next contestant, Sarah, representing the Imperium Ludum. All right, let's see if any more fouls will be played on the field. Sarah seems to be playing by the book of our previous contestants and running straight into the Teal Rider, uh, almost inevitably eating shit herself because of that decision. But taking it solid, slow and steady, Sarah seems to be taking the course in stride. Um, wiping out just like her predecessors so far. Nothing we haven't seen before. Though we are at the 30 second timestamp, haven't yet made it to the first lap. Taking another dive in the field. I want to know who uh, put a camera in the, in the moat going around the track. That is uh, most certainly not healthy for the, our, our equipment and a, a very bad use of our budget here. Uh, second camera in the river. Ahem, we ahem, should talk to production about this, because uh, clearly we spent all of our uh, all of our budget on bikes and moats, and it looks like we are now at one minute, slowly creeping up on Dave's time of 127, hitting lap one at 108. So we have, she has a a, a bit a bit of of track to catch up on here. Let's see, at 120, we are seven seconds away from Dave's. So far, first place, first place marker. 127 marks past Dave. Wiping out thrice now in the same spot. Sarah, you you have a quite, quite a bit of track to catch up on. This is not looking good for the Imperium Ludum. Uh, today does not seem like to be their day on the bicycle field. At 147, we are now past Dustin's timestamp. Still, still have a chance for making bronze, but we will have to see. 
The slow and steady approach does seem to work, though. We saw it work for CJ. We've seen it for plenty of contestants in the past. It, it helps not wipe out so much. So, okay. CJ, I stand corrected. Um, this was the, uh, the, the worst one out of today. Sarah had a stronghold at the beginning, but, but sadly um, seemed to get uh, washed up with the other riders in, in their collisions and the constant abuse of the teal rider. Um, sadly seemed to take the brunt of the wipeouts um, in today's event. But still a solid, solid competition all around. So today it looks like gold goes to Dave, silver to Dustin, bronze to CJ, um, and whatever constitutes as a participation award to Sarah. If I am reading our numbers correctly, this leaves Hookland with three golds, one silver, and a bronze. The Imperium Ludum with three golds, no silvers, and two bronze. You Betcha Stand with one gold, five silvers, and one bronze. And the Daisy Baby Bitch Territory with zero golds, one silver, and three bronze. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to Day 7 of the Games. We hope to see you back here tomorrow for another glorious competition.